Good morning, how are we doing? Definitely in need of a haircut um, and a trim. Anyway, good morning, how are we doing? So, question yesterday. Um, I'm tracking calories, but it adds calories in for the exercise I do. So, for example, if I burn 300 calories, I get an extra 300 calories to eat. Now, it, they said, is this right? Should I be doing this? Because we've set a target out. Now, because we've set a target out, I actually say two options here. Completely ignore it. Um, because it adds another variability. Especially when fat loss is your goal. Primary goal. Exercise and the calories you burn is at best full of errors. And it's going to fluctuate. It's going to depend on the efficiency of the exercise that you do. How used to it you are. Despite what your watch says. Now of course, you are the more active you are. That's great. If you're trying to lose weight and create a deficit, we want to collect data. And if your exercise is up and down, your calories up and down as a result of that, you don't really know what works. So I like to have a good rule of thumb is to set the calorie target. And we have a calorie calculator. If you want that, just comment below with calories. Set the calories that has an assumption built into it about your general activity. And also... I like to go cautious with that as well, because I think we overshoot too often, number one. And the other risk of this is you know, if you burn 400 calories, you get an extra 400 calories, is it becomes like exercise, the only benefit of exercise is just to eat more. When we know that that's like the tiniest thing there. And if your goal is fat loss and we're constantly compensating because what's likely to happen is we'll overshoot on calories, and the in both in both aspects. So your watch might or your whatever you're using to track calories might overshoot on the calories burned, and equally you might overconsume on top of that overshooting number. And that is quite common. If you've got 300 calories, you then consume around 300 calories. That might be like 350 in, in actual real like you're adding another variable in something that already has a bit of errors into it. So the, the less variables there are the better it is to collect data. So my advice to you would be to use a calorie calculator like the one I'll put below, or comment with calories, I'll send it to you. And this allows you to put in how like active you generally are. And this just adds in a one figure that can equate for that, because let's face it, it's gonna come from how you respond, not, oh, my watch says 300 calories, but it's 400 calories, but there's so much error. I'd rather the error be done at the start, and then we can tweak as we go. Are you losing weight? Are you not? Are you feeling hungry? Are you not? rather than have error every day added in, depending on the activity. So, um, one caveat to that, if you are doing like long distance stuff, events, more performance stuff, you know, that's where we bring in like the carbohydrates, the calories for that, but that's a slightly different goal. So, I hope that helps. Any questions on that, and I could go through this in a lot more detail, put it below in terms of the questions, and I'll see you soon.